In this video, I'll be comparing the Sigma 16mm micro four thirds lens on my Lumix G9 to a 24 to 17mm Sigma lens on the Sony a7 III, and I'll be comparing them both at 32mm full frame equivalent or 16mm micro four thirds. And this is what I'm actually testing the full frame equivalent. You know, is it actually the same 16mm micro four thirds to 32mm full frame? Now you often hear me talking on this channel about full frame equivalent focal length that's because I started out as a micro four thirds photographer. It bugged me in the beginning as to why is there even a crop factor? You know, if the sensor is smaller and the lens is smaller then there shouldn't be any crop factor. 16 millimeter on a micro four thirds should be equal to 16 millimeter on a full frame but it's not because the crop factor on a micro four thirds sensor is two and this causes that shift in focal length and in that zoom appearance. Now the reason for the crop factor is because the micro four thirds sensor is pretty much half the size of a full frame sensor which means that it only sees the central part of the image, the central half of the image and it disregards everything else. Therefore lenses can be cut away on the edges and you just end up with the central part of the lens making them smaller and much sharper. And this is why a micro four thirds camera and lens will always be sharper than a full frame. Even if you have a contemporary lens like I have here, which is kind of a second grade Sigma lens. And on the Sony, I have the art series lens, which is the premium quality lens. This one is probably going to be just a little bit sharper from center to the corner of the frame compared to a full frame. So on the left I have my Lumix G9 with the Sigma 16mm f1.4 lens and on the right is the Sony a7 III with the Sigma 24 to 70mm lens. Now I'm pretty much trying to get the same composition by placing the cameras uh, in the same position as much as I can. Of course I can't get them equal so this one's going to be a little bit to the left and this one's going to be a little bit to the right. Now one thing to mention here is the flippy screen. Oh yeah, much easier. Now technically it would be completely possible to develop lenses which would match focal lengths to a full frame system on a micro four thirds or a crop sensor which means that a 50 millimeter micro four thirds lens would be equivalent to a 50 millimeter full frame not a 100 millimeter full frame. But it really makes no sense to develop new glass and new curvatures of glass probably producing worse quality images in the end and this would take away the benefit that the micro four thirds has which is that they produce sharper images because they only take in account the central part of the lens and everything else is disregarded therefore also cut away and the lenses are made smaller cheaper and lighter so all of this benefits the micro four thirds system and the only downside to a micro four thirds is the lack of megapixels and the low light performance now one thing I'm also going to be testing is the depth of field difference between these two systems. Now because the crop factor on the micro four thirds system you typically need to place the camera further away from the subject therefore shifting the focus point or focus distance further away from the lens making everything appear a little bit sharper at the same aperture value. So an aperture value of 2.8 on a micro four thirds is going to give you a sharper image than an aperture at 2.8 on a full frame camera. But how does this look if I match the focal lengths like I'm doing right here? Because the focal lengths on both of these cameras are equal now and the position of the cameras is pretty much the same and I'm focusing on this rock over here well that means that the depth of field should be pretty much similar if I have the same aperture value but it's not exactly the same because two things affect depth of field one is the entrance pupil diameter and one is the distance from the camera to the lens now the distance is the same so the focus point for both of these cameras is the same but the focal length is going to be different which means that if both cameras have the same aperture the entrance pupil diameter on both lenses is going to be different because aperture is defined as focal length divided by the entrance pupil diameter and the entrance pupil diameter is the one that determines how deep or how shallow the depth of field is going to be alongside with the distance from the subject to the camera.
I hope this demonstrates the difference between a full frame focal length versus a micro four thirds equivalent focal length. I hope it answers some of the questions. And if you guys have further questions, comments, or just want to say hello, leave that down in the comment section. As always, I would love to answer all of that. Consider subscribing to the channel, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.